Okay, so this is for you. This is, f you ask a question, there's gonna be four cards. Pick one, two, three, or four, all of them if you want to, and then I'll do a diet across finish. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, it does help me an awful lot if you just would subscribe and know you're watching. And uh, thank you so very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is for you personally, all right? Get your questions ready, put them right to the front of your mind, shoot them out into the universe, really give some intention on what you're uh, thinking about, and uh, we'll start uh, the divinations. There'll be four choices, one, two, three, or four. Uh, you can pick one or two or all of them if you want to, and then after those yes, no, or maybe cards are revealed for your questions or your your you know your concerns, uh, then we'll, I'll do a diet across six cards to further uh, define uh, what those cards mean. All right, so let's do it. So this is Llewellyn's Classic Tarot, a uh, book by Barbara Moore and illustrations by Eugene Smith. Love the box that this comes in. It's got that neat uh, magnetic clasp on there that I'm just a sucker for. The book is very good. I mean, it's a full color book. It's got very good um, suggestions for how you can use these cards in the divination. And then it talks a little bit in here also about uh, Barbara Moore, Eugene Smith. So I, I like the book. The cards, I mean, everything about this works. You can, you've got a little ribbon that you pull the book out, and then it double, does double duty to help you get the cards out. And let me show you those. Now, if I understand correctly, the idea that Llewellyn had is that this is the Rider Waite system, but it is a clearer, uh, less cluttered um, uh, images for the uh, divination uh, of the cards. So that's apparently was his uh, remit to um, the uh, illustrator or the artist, uh, Eugene Smith. I'll let you spread them out like this so you can get a chance to, you know, just look at the cards. If you don't look at cards a lot, or maybe you're thinking about buying some cards and you're thinking about these, you've read across this and this gives you an idea if you'd like to have them, I don't know. I just like to spread them out this way. It's an alternative way of shuffling them. And it works really well if you're doing a reading and you have someone who might not feel comfortable shuffling the cards, but at least you can kind of get their energy uh, into the uh, cards this way. So this is, classic tarot and I like them a lot okay four card Oracle we're gonna put uh, four cards down uh, reveal them one at a time and let you know if they're yes no or maybe uh, cards and then we'll do a full uh, six card uh, further divination after that just to lend a little more meat to that but you know first let's take just a second for a tiny bit of meditation That's all it takes. So here we go. Get ready for four cards. You know, like I always say, if you tune in regularly for these uh, uh, Oracle cards, um, this is a good time if you want to stop the tape, um, maybe uh, get yourself something to drink, uh, just settle yourself in, be comfortable. You know, you might even want to get a, a pad and paper just to jot down notes if, if this uh, has meaning for you. Darn cards. And um, so, you know, settle in. Uh, if you get those uh, thoughts really to the front of your mind in a peaceful way and just push that out into the, out into the uh, universe, uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, give you some sort of uh, thoughtful uh, solutions or at least suggestions uh, with the cards from what you pick. Okay, so first we're going to go and choose four cards. This will be one, two, three, and four. And this is where you'll have a chance to pick some cards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the tape. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay? So I'm going to put these right here just so they can wait for us. And then we'll start with the first card. If number one is what you chose, uh, this card is the star. This is a yes card. This is a... Um, 
a very enlightened uh, card. This is, uh, for whatever questions you're dealing with, this is telling you this is at the forefront. This is important, and this means something to someone. So, yeah, this is a yes card. This is a very um, uh, definite yes, and the star card is uh, here for you if you chose number one. If you chose number two, okay, this is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, this is a yes card, and the Knight of Cups is the uh, the fellow in the Royal Suite, like you'll always hear me say, who is, when he's given something to do, that's his job. He's the warrior who's going to take that issue that you give him. And in this case, with Cups, it's a compassionate, it's an emotional, it's a heartfelt, it's a meaningful issue. He's even trotting against a, a river of uh, emotion here. So this is a yes card, but it, it requires some thoughtfulness and then some, you know, definitive uh, action uh, to go along with that. So number two is a very thoughtful, very, um, let's think about what we're doing, kind of a yes card. We chose number three. Okay, we've got the King of Cups, another strong yes card. <clears throat> this king, as you can see with the cups, again, same uh, definitions as the um, as the knight as far as the compassion and the emotion go, but this king is, is definitive, okay? He's, he's his emotional, compassionate ruling is going to uh, uh, definitely uh, be the way that this uh, issue goes. Right? There could be some tiny surprises. Uh, there could be the, you know, the the markings of a plan or an action that have to be taken. But if you chose number three, that's a very definitive yes card. And now if you chose number four. Okay, this is the Emperor, uh, and also a strong yes card, but I'm going to tell you, the Emperor is definite, okay? The Emperor is in charge, and what the Emperor tells us to do, what the Emperor decides, is what's going to rule the day, okay? Everybody's going to have to go along with what this decision is. All right, so if you chose number four, that's a very strong, very forth with uh, card, okay, number four. And we'll turn these over, and we'll just start to drill down on what we can find out for this signifier, for that first dyadic cross, uh, the star card. Here we go. Let's get a little shuffle going on here. I love these cards. They work so well. And uh, when when the cards are cooperative like this, for me, that uh, means that we've got a, a very useful uh, reading coming up. So pay attention. And I like that idea I've had of that, uh, you know, this might be something you could do is to might maybe take a few notes about what's going on here. Remember, anytime during these readings, of course, you can stop the tape. Uh, you can go backwards and forwards and um, you know, get the most out of this for you that's possible. I'm going to take six cards out of here to better define this yes card, the star. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to take five because we already got one, and that's uh, right there. So, okay, we'll put these cards over here to kind of work on that energy and see what is the challenge to this uh, shining star, this this uh, bathing in the light of this uh, decision, okay? The uh, challenge to that, then, is this Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is, uh, Pentacles are uh, value, they're worth, they're sometimes money, but they're of the earth, and so the Three of Pentacles is working together to build something up for public display. So whatever this issue is that you're dealing with, just uh, remember that uh, this is something that's going to be seen, this is something that's going to be noticed uh, by others. And uh, just like these uh, three, uh, the artisan, um, the fellow with the plans, and this uh, consultant, you know, we want to make sure that we're giving this the, the good thought that it's due. The base of this reading then is the death card. So this is, death is not usually death, but death is telling us that, that you know there's a definite end to this cycle. Something has stopped, and that's what's caused this uh, issue uh, to be available to move forward. So just understand that you know once this decision um, doesn't have something hanging on to it, that's over, and now this is a, a new, fresh, bright, beautiful start. The uh, past to this reading with the lovers, and uh, this is the major arcana. So this is a strong pairing. This could be a person. This could be an idea. This could be tools. This could be something that that is necessary towards uh, having this decision made has is you know come into the picture uh, to assist in this. So if you don't see it, take some time to look around you and and understand what that is. That may be something that helps you in making this. Uh, 
or with this determination. In the sky of this, we have the Five of Cups, and, you know, Cups, again, are emotion, compassion, but the Five of Cups is telling us, you know, that there's something that's been lost here. There's sort of, sort of, sort of a, a regret. There's a, a wanting for something that's happened, but there's, you're cautioned here, you're um, told here to remember that there's something else left behind here. You have something to carry on with, and so that's what you don't want to forget. You know, you can spend a fair amount of time or an appropriate amount of time grieving whatever it is that's done, Okay, but you want to remember that there's something here to carry on with, and that's going to fill your cup back up again. And the likely outcome of this whole thing for this issue that uh, you're dealing with is look at that. The Three of Cups, these are celebrations, and they're emotional, compassionate, you know, they're, they're heartfelt, um, uh, joyish, joyous, joyous uh, celebrations uh, regarding this issue. So uh, if this is your yes card, and this is the uh, guidance around that. Okay, so now we'll put these back into the pack to work on the next issue, the next signifier, number two, if that's what you chose. And of course, that's the Knight of Cups. Again, Cups being compassionate, uh, emotional, heartfelt situations. The Knight is a warrior. He's going to make sure something gets done. This uh, Five of Wands, argy bargy, pointless uh, arguing or, or conflict, uh, fell out. It fell out inverted, which I don't usually read inverted cards, but I'll give it a shot in this case. Uh, it just means that um, it, it's even less uh, important of, uh, of this, these issues are even less important than, than they would have been if this were upright. So this night, let's see what, and again, my interpretations of inverted cards are not something I'm really comfortable with. So someone else may have a different interpretation. That's perfectly valid. Of course, as a matter of fact, that's always perfectly valid in any card reading. But, uh, and especially since that one jumped out of the pack like that, I felt like I needed to give it a, a go. So that's what I got. Now for this uh, yes card, so this is uh, an emotional, compassionate uh, situation that requires or is uh, worthy of some struggle to get there, okay? So we get five cards to finish that off. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Finish that up. Again, we'll put this over here to work on those and see what is the challenge to this compassionate knight. Oh, okay, so we have the tower card. So this is a, an end. This is a, you know, a definite uh, shaking up of the issue. So the challenge to this compassionate knight getting his job done is uh, probably the fact that this is something that has uh, shaken some something, some question, some movement, some idea to the core, really. It's caused a, a basic change in the structure of the way um, this affects uh, whatever it is that it's affecting for you. The base of this reading, with this Ace of Cups, again, emotion, compassion, uh, this is a great, but you can see this heavenly hand coming out of the clouds with this huge cup of compassion uh, and peace, all right, being offered up. So it's important, especially if you've got some sort of an end or a, a disruption, that uh, we remember that this comes, you know, from uh, kind of a beautiful place, actually. In the past of this reading, with this Five of Swords, this Five of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, the Five of Swords is uh, an abuse of power. It could be someone has uh, taken advantage of you. You may be taking advantage of someone else. And all and those things can happen with or without yours or that person's knowledge. Sometimes we have to stop and, uh, just like this person, has stop and recognize, okay, recognize that... Um, this situation has occurred, all right? In the sky of this, with this magician, the magician is the benefit of having all the tools available to him of the, uh, of the uh, tarot suite uh, to get this job done, okay? The magician is going to wave his magic wand and bring about some sort of a conclusion, some sort of a uh, maybe not necessarily obvious at first uh, answer to the situation. So that's what we can aim for. And then the likely outcome for this one is the Four of Swords. Again, swords being truth, justice, rules, law. And the Four of Swords always cautions us to take a break, take a rest, really consider the situation uh, before you move forward. Um, you know, it, it requires uh, some, some deep uh, meditation, perhaps. So, yeah, this night is telling us this is worth fighting for, okay? Compassionate offer really see how you or those around you have come into this situation to clearly understand it. Know that, you know, the power is, is with you to make that decision and uh, just be thoughtful about it. 
Okay, we'll incorporate these back into the pack and see what uh, this number three card, if that's the one you chose, has in store for us. So this King of Cups, again, emotion, compassion, heartfelt situations. Uh, this king is a determined king. He's really grasping that uh, cup there, and uh, this is a determination uh, to make this thing happen. So what's the challenge to that then with five more cards? Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, this is going to work on that. And then we'll come over here to see what's the challenge to this very determined uh, King of Cups. Oh, look at that. That card comes up again. So, yeah, this is conflict, pointless con conflict, really. Sometimes uh, this sort of a mix-up can, can help bring clarity to an issue. But uh, So it may be that this very determined uh, King of Cups uh, needs to recognize uh, this conflict and see if there is some weight to be given to that. The base of this reading then, oh look, I love when the cards repeat themselves like this. So the Tower card, again, what was at the base of this was a complete disruption. Something that said, no, this is going to stop and we're going to sort this out. The uh, past of this reading, oh look, ill intentions, the Devil card. So, you know, it could be that you, we came into this, um, you know, chained so to some sort of a belief or a, a path that we were on that maybe we need to recognize uh, wasn't uh, of the best intention. In the sky of this reading, look at that with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands are actions or plans or movement, uh, their ideas. And so this Eight of Wands is coming into land, all right? It's coming into land on this king. And uh, if that happens, he's going to take those plans and make a decision for it. And, uh, and pay attention to the conflict that might be accompanying them. Um, and then the likely outcome of the whole thing, look at that, is again, this wonderful celebration, uh, this uh, Three of Cups, uh, things are going to be fine, all right? Whatever uh, the decision that you come to after uh, considering all of these cautions that are around it, I mean, look at the cautions around this. So that's enough to make a person not want to make a decision, but the decision has to be made and it'll be fine. It'll be perfectly fine in the end. Okay. Incorporate these back into the pack. It's amazing to me how you stick these in at random, do a shuffle, and then the cards come, the same cards come back up again. So the fourth card, if that's the one you chose, uh, is this emperor. So if the king had some authority and some determination, imagine what the emperor uh, brings to uh, this this issue. So this is going to happen. All right, uh, it's a stern, uh, not a caution, just uh, say, look. This is what's going to happen. Make this decision, okay? Don't let something stand in your way. Five cards to further define this issue. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, the Emperor. Big yes card. All these have been yes cards today. These cards have done all they can for us. And we'll see what's the challenge to this Emperor. All right. The challenge of that, ah, secrets being revealed. So the moon card, look at how high up in the major arcana, and you know, arcana are just secrets. As a matter of fact, like the moon card is uh, secrets being revealed. Uh, so yeah, so um, the challenge to this uh, decision here or this issue uh, could be what's underlying it, as a matter of fact. And, uh, and that can, as a matter of fact, come out after the decision has been made. So just be aware of that. Uh, the base of this reading then, with this Four of Cups, again, emotions, compassion, uh, passionate situations, uh, uh, a heavenly offer of something that we're not sure uh, that we want to accept. All right, so this uh, we came into this with some uncertainty, which is interesting when, in fact, we come to the point where, yeah, this is going to be a very determined decision, a very determined yes. The past of this reading... With this King of Swords, just tells us truth, justice, rules, law, in charge, firmly in control of all of that. So we came into this, it seems like to me, with some sort of a, a, a authority, all right, to get this, uh, get this going. And in the sky of this, with this Queen of Wands, this is a gentler, more persuasive idea or plan or movement uh, that we can uh, use to help smooth over this very uh, determined um movement. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing with this Ace of Pentacles, again, a heavenly offer of value. All right. Understand that this is going to end up 
okay, being a very valuable decision that's being made. So don't be afraid to do it. Okay, so that's been very interesting today. Well, those have been our four issues today. I hope some of that was useful. If it wasn't, roll it around in your brain. And I've got a nice message for you uh, just after this, if you stay long enough to hear it. You know, there's a special uh, number of you that tune in for these uh, Oracle readings, and I really appreciate that you folks are, are dedicated and, and, and do that. By the way, if you have questions that you want to ask about something general in nature, um, really almost anything, just put it in the comments. I'm able to read all your comments, and I do read them, and I listen to what you're saying, and I'll put that in my regular readings that I do uh, Monday through Saturday. So. And if what I read today was it useful to you, um, you know, let it uh, rest in your mind. Maybe come back to it later. Think about somebody that might be important to you, or it just might not hit home, and that's fine. Sometimes it just doesn't. And uh, we got to spend time together, and I like that. So thanks. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.